Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. Today we're back with the Foresight Sports GC Quad Golf Launch Monitor. We're connected to the FSX 2020 Golf Simulation software. And if you guys haven't seen the first two videos we released, the first one where the GC Quad showed up, we did a full unboxing, talked about some technical specifications, the setup of the unit, and then showed you guys under the improved section, a few shots out on the driving range. Then we moved on to the second video where under the play section, I took you out and did some on-course play. All right, so if you haven't seen those, make sure you check them out. And then as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel because there'll be a lot more content coming. We're gonna take you through all of the FSX 2020 sections and all of the games inside of each one or you know playable software pieces inside of those, okay? So today, I wanted to show you guys the compete section, all right? And in particular, the uh, module that's inside of that called Inside Six Feet. So this is a short game competition that they have that actually uh, sets up different challenges for you. You log into your FSX Live account, all right, and actually has live leaderboards where you get to compete against other Foresight users across the globe. It was one that caught my eye, and after playing the first couple uh, sections inside of there, uh, definitely thought that it was the next video we had to do. I mean, short game is really important. I know that I need to improve on it, and it even has pro tips that are inside of the game that I'll show you guys. It's really cool. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll shrink down my video. That way it's out of the way. All right, and then I've already logged into my FSX Live account, so we're good to go there. I can just hit the Compete section, and you'll see all of these different modules in here. Glass Break, Inside Six Feet, Closest to the Pin, Long Drive, Skills Challenge, Tournament. We're going to show all of those, but we just have to do them in individual videos. That way, nothing drags on too long, all right? And I know everybody wants to see specific things, so they can search for what they want, all right? So Inside Six Feet says, lower your scores with preset drills designed to test and hone your approach shots, all right? So let's go ahead and select that. Once you select that, it brings up a little menu, which you can turn off the next time around. I left it on and it shows you kind of a preview of what is the inside six feet module. All right. So it shows you that you get pro tips in this case from uh, Liam. That's their head of the peak certification uh, training. I actually did uh, level one and level two shows you kind of an overview of the goal of the game and then also shows you the leaderboards that they have that you get to compete against other users. All right, so we'll close that out and we want to select this first one here. All right, we'll start from the beginning and we'll go ahead and click next. Now here, you can choose your club selection for each shot. All right, so you'll see that this first shot that is out, it's only 11 yards and it's on the fringe. Um, I could probably putt this. Maybe I'm going to use, you know, a seven iron and keep it low, um, you know, and just kind of a punch shot. In this case, I'm going to use my wedge on these. And that way you guys uh, can get an idea of what short chipping is like. All right, so I'm just selecting a wedge for each one of those. It's going to give you your course conditions. Uh, you'll see that it's uh, no wind sunny the green speed is only six so i need to remember that i'm not going to get a ton of roll out and then the bounce is soft all right fringe is set at normal altitude is zero all right so i can actually look at the leaderboard right now if i want to i can open that up all right it's going to pull that live from the server and you'll see the first time around i was actually i mean way down there compared to the other guys um you know i need to uh really get myself improving here i don't know if i went through enough to get all those points or not but uh it sure shows that i've got some work to do huh so let's go ahead and click start it's going to take us out to the first challenge uh just because the ball location is there why don't we move this camera over to the left. Well, that way we can make it a little bit bigger and you guys can see what's going on inside here. All right. And then you have all of your normal settings up here at the top. All right. So I'm going to turn on the grid. I always like turning that on so I can see kind of the undulation of the green and what's going on, where to place my ball. That is if, if I can. And then this little golfer up here that you see in the upper left, that's the pro tip. All right. So let's go ahead and check that before we get started. It's going to pull up a YouTube video. Whoops, did I actually, I, I think I clicked out. I apologize. Here you go. The first and most important thing in order to be able to hit consistent short shots like this around the green is to have a sound fundamental setup. When we look at the short game, we don't need our feet wide apart or a weight shift in order to generate power. So I like my golfers to have a fairly narrow base of support 
and from here I want to make sure they turn their lead foot open a little towards the target. This makes it easier for them to rotate their body through the shot. The arm should hang down comfortably and be free in front of the legs to move. From here it's very easy to make a simple turn back and through. Wow, what a great tip. What a great tip. All right, we can close that out now. And you know, it's really funny that that was his tip on this first shot because I was just out with my local PGA professional and we were working on some things and he noticed that I had like a full swing stance when I was doing a chip and it was just, you know, not thinking about it. I mean, I know better. So to hear that as one of his first tips, get those feet close together. Uh, I'm definitely going to use his tip of getting that front foot just a little flared out to help you rotate. And we only have 11 yards. So I'm going to hopefully get, uh, you know, my proper touch on this. Let's see what we can do. The blue, the blue ring is inside six feet. Okay. And I don't know if you guys notice, I should do this really quick, but take a look at the hitting area. Notice how it's a rectangle, which is 14 inches wide by 18 inches long. I have the GC quad in ball only mode. And I did that because I don't want to demonstrate only the club data mode, uh, you know, or the putting analysis that I have built in. Uh, I want you guys to understand that if you purchase a GC quad and you don't get the additional club data uh, or the putting analysis like I have, you can still play FSX with ball data only, which I mentioned in one of the videos utilizes all four cameras, each one each one operating it up to 6,000 frames per second. That's 24,000 frames per second for, for ball tracking only. Okay, so you don't need fiducials on your clubs for your friends over here playing. Um, you don't need the club head data add-on if you don't want it, and you get all the ball data, all right, and be able to play simulation. So let's see what we can do here. 11 yards. Stop. Oh, ho, ho, I think that six green speed helped me on that. So we were able to get out of that shot in one try. So it'll actually give you additional points, all right, for how many attempts it took you to accomplish inside six feet for that shot. All right, so here we are on the next one. Now look at that break from left to right. 17 yards, all right. So a little bit further. I kind of want to aim just a little bit right here because I know that ball is going to, I'm sorry, a little bit left, because I know that ball's going to break to the right. Get down. Oh, it has a chance. Oh, man, it had a chance. Very happy with that shot. I made it out of that one on a first attempt. I'll be honest, guys, my short game is usually not this on. So I'll take it. <laughs> All right, now this looks like a challenge. It's uphill the whole way, and it looks like it's even the pins up on a little hill there. Uh, probably gonna wanna bring this one. I don't think I could roll it in there. But you know, let's try that. Let's demonstrate a low chip, all right? More of like a bump and run so you guys can kind of see how the GC quad is reading that. 14 yards. too hard. Oh, I hit the pin, but that was way too much. You know, I really kind of, you know, stabbed at it. I can't believe that hit the pin. Oh, all right. Let's try that again. I really like that bump and run technique. That was just way too much. Well, that one's going to be within. I, le I left off, you know, a little bit off of that one. Three feet, 10 inches. I'm really glad that I demonstrated the, the low bump and run though. Um, that way you guys can see how that, that the spin on that was 2589. I'm looking right down at my launch monitor here. Uh, that gives me that carried 10 yards. Okay. Um, oh, there we go. Hey, leaderboard, 577. So I don't know if that it was, you know, cause I was just kind of playing around the first time. I don't know if, uh, that was results from when I stopped or not, but I'm glad I'm making it up the leaderboard to 577. Um, what are we, almost 10 minutes into the video here? Let's hit a few more for you guys. 13 yards. I'm going to do more of a normal chip now. Uh, I'll actually try to bring this ball a little forward in my stance and see if I can't lift it up a little bit. 
13 yards. Stop. I got it within. I'll take it. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but we're going through the first stages and there are a ton of different stages to go to that you actually have to work towards and unlock along the way, which I think is cool. It forces you to go through all the different stages. 27 yards, wow. This is, uh, this will be a challenge. Let's see what we can do here. That needs to roll up there though. That's not gonna be enough. That wasn't a great strike on my part. Let's see if we can get a little more out of it. <clears throat> so as I was saying, there are all these different stages to go through and you unlock them along the way as you play and you pass the different you know, stages like this. I think that's a cool way to do it. Forces everybody to go through and improve along the way. I think that's too much. Oh, well, I guess my soft touch was on, but uh, struggling here, struggling. All right, let's get it in the middle now. Man, that should be it. Roll up in there. Oh, this shows you how much you know work. I mean, I need for my distance control with my wedges. Um, you know, I'm usually a little better at this, but you know, you that would have been a good putt. You know, I mean, I, I would have had a chance to make that, but uh, getting it inside six feet is where it's at, and you know, it's forcing you, you know, to get your distance down. And your accuracy, whether it be left or right. How about that one? All right, look at that. Worked at it, got my feel down a little bit there, and I was seven inches from the cup. But it took me four attempts. But I'm glad I showed those off. I mean, you know, I'm I am definitely looking at improving my short game, not only indoor, but also outdoor. That's for sure. Um, so to be able to work on my distances, uh, you know, doing something like this that forces me to do different, you know, distances, this is 43 yards away. All right. I've got to, I have to do a couple more shots for you guys. Even if I can't get this one right away, I've got to show you some more examples, right? It's breaking right to left. I hit behind the ball on that. That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad little behind the ball. That hurt. All right, let's make up for it. I hit that a little harder too. Get in there. All right. Two attempts. Not too bad. Not too bad. I didn't aim far enough right. That ball started rolling left and uh, you know, I really should have aimed a little further right. You know, I was so worried about the distance there. It's another thing, you know, that you see and you get to work on. And is that pack one? Hey, 67, that's not too bad. So level two, you can see where we're at there. And you can keep progressing along the way, all right? And you continue to unlock more and more. All right, I'll give you guys one more shot, whether it's good or bad. All right, 20 yards. Not bad. That wasn't a perfect strike either. I'll take it. Wasn't a perfect strike. I really, really could spend, I mean, honestly, I could spend hours down here doing these types of things. Um, I love that it gives you a huge variety. Uh, you know, there's so many to go through, um, you know, and I didn't initially scroll through that. I can actually take you guys out really quick before we wrap this up and I can show you, all right. It says, do you want to abort? Yeah, that's fine. We can abort. You'll see that I actually unlocked Broken Tree. So I went through uh, the bayou there, and then now Broken Tree is unlocked. All right. And if you keep going, there is just a ton. Okay, now these are all courses that I've already purchased, but there are even more if you want to purchase more courses. Look at this. And they just keep going 
and going and going, all different presets, all right, for you to choose from and work your way through. And I know one thing, once I make it all the way through those, I would start right back at the beginning again, you know? So uh, I think they did a very good job. Uh, I think that when, you know, you put together something like this and you give a huge variety, it gets people going back and back. So, um, you know, I appreciate what they've done there. I think that, uh, you know, I'll work my way through it as I go the best I can. So um, this has been the Foresight Sports GC Quad Golf Launch Monitor hooked up to FSX 2020. And today we looked at the inside six feet game. All right. That was inside the compete section. It's called Inside Six Feet. And I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I'd love you to comment below. Tell me what you think. Um, you know, hey, you can comment on my bad short game too, but I felt like I had a couple shots that kind of got in there. So it wasn't too bad, um, but definitely a few bad strikes along the way. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned. There's a lot more content coming. And so we'll see you soon.